Hello, my name is Roger Van Pelt for the Fresno Commodore Users Group and today I'd like to talk about Wi-Fi modems for retro computers such as the Commodore 64. These are devices that allow you to connect to the internet via a Wi-Fi router and uh, modem. The Strike Link by Allwise and Alturis uses the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This is a very inexpensive Wi-Fi transceiver with a full TCP IP stack and a 32-bit microcontroller, the firmware can be upgraded via a micro USB port on the board. The device plugs into the user port and gets its power from the computer uh, just like a regular modem cartridge. It has a blue LED light on the board that lights up when you turn on the power switch. The strike link comes with a pre-configured baud rate of 9600 uh, to be able to use the speed, you need a terminal emulator capable, capable of 9600 baud, such as Novaterm or uh, CCGMS version 6, uh, which, is ha which has mods by Allwise. So let's try using CCGMS version 6. Okay, I'm going to load it up. Okay, so we have CCGMS version 6 loaded up. And the first thing we need to do is go into the settings menu. So we press F7. And we have the settings menu, which says dialer parameters. The uh, first thing we see here is um, auto dialer phone book. That's where you save your BBS or phone number information uh, if you're using a dial up modem, but you're not. Uh, second thing we have is the baud rate, the duplex set to half. Um, we need to set that to full. Press D to do that. The modem type, uh, right now it's user port 300, 2400 baud. We need to set that to UP9600 slash EZ232. And protocol, that's for your upload and downloads of uh, software. We don't need to mess with that right now. The theme, We'll just leave it at classic CCGMS version 5.5. Uh, edit macros. Um, those are like your um, your 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 uh, function key settings. And load and save the phone book. Well, we're not going to do that right now. The first thing we're going to do is change the baud rate. to 9600 and then save uh, OK and at the bottom we have V to view the author's message and what that does is it gives you information about uh, the modifications and, and the people who worked on the program and uh, you can press that button just to, to read through it. It's a couple pages long. What we're going to do now is hit return to go back to the terminal mode, and you want to be in ANSCII mode, uh, so you press F8. Uh, ANSCII allows CCGMS version 6 to interpret ANSI colors in ASCII mode. So the first thing we need to do is hit return, and the modem uh, gives you some information about itself, and it tries to connect to your Wi-Fi router but it's not configured yet to do that so the first thing we have to do after that is set the SSID and password using the AT commands so we go AT dollar sign SSID equals and whatever your SSID is for your um, Wi-Fi router Afterwards, we need to set the password. So you type at dollar sign p a s s equals and your password.
and press return. To connect, you need to type ATC1. Okay, we're connected. Now we should be able to type in an AT command to go to a BBS. Port 6502. Okay, we're connected to 9600 baud. Press return to continue. Okay, I'm going to switch to color graphic mode and press yes. Okay, now what's my login information? and we are in. Any key. Okay, see we're getting uh, color graphics, 40 columns. It's asking for a command. So I'll bring up the main menu here. See the graphics load nicely. Uh, let's see. Here are the members for the board. Quite a few of them. <laughs> There's me. Robert. Okay, we'll stop there. Go back to the menu. Can read the messages. It's accessing the disk drive. We'll start with this message, 5334. Hmm. Subject Wi-Fi modem on the VIC-20. That's interesting. Well, let's see. Um, why don't we try another bulletin board system? So I'm going to quit out of here. Let's see. We'll log off this board.
Thanks for calling Cottonwood BBS. Call again, again soon. Let's try Particles BBS. Six four hundred. Hit return. Okay. Yes, we support color graphics. Forty columns. Okay, and it's asking for my login information. And we're in. Looking for new credits. Well, as you can see, uh, these modems work pretty well and they're nice and fast. Um, Let's see, would you like to check mail now? Uh, no. Let's see. Check on the wall? Sure. The graffiti wall. And uh, let's see, let's take a look at the other modem here that I have. Uh, besides the strike link, we have the Wi Fi 64, which comes in a nice case. And what I like about this is that it makes it nice and easy to align the, the modem with the user port, the connector on the edge, and uh, it just looks cool. Nice packaging. Uh, comes with instructions. Tells you how to set it up. And this modem comes with a nice set of cards that list Commodore compatible BBS's and information about each one. Pretty cool. So um, this one is made by uh, Irko Iuzal. Um, it's produced by Shareware Plus and very similar to the Strike Link in that it uses the same Wi-Fi module. Uh, both of them very nice and they use the same set of Hay style commands. So what I'd like to do next is show you how to configure the modem to work with Novaterm. So I'll just log out here. Actually, I think it timed me out already. Okay. It did the work for me. No carrier. So I'm going to load up Novaterm. Okay, so we need to go into the configuration menu. And you have to do it in a certain order to keep Novaterm 9.6 from hanging. So First thing we need to do is set the modem type. To Hayes 9600. Next, set the serial driver to UP 9600. So use the right cursor key to go to the next menu. UP9600 and set the flow control to hardware then we're going to set the terminal emulation to ANSI wide and the baud rate to 9600 
Okay. We'll save the configuration. Yes. Okay. And F1 for the previous menu. Then we'll go into terminal mode and we'll configure the Wi Fi modem. Okay. So, first we need to type, well, return, so we get a message from the modem. And it's going to try to connect, but it's not going to be able to because we haven't configured it yet. Okay, so we're going to type at dollar sign SSID equals my SSID. Okay, and then the password. Okay, and we'll try to connect again, ATC1. This is an emulated 80 column mode. Okay, so looks like we're connected. I'm going to go into Commodore, um, the Commodore terminal emulator. Let's see, so Control T, Commodore T. Okay, sorry, Commodore graphics mode. So, let's see if the modem responds here. It does. Okay. Let's try to connect to a VBS. Okay, no carrier, I see. Um, VBS is busy. Okay, let's try particles VBS. Okay, connect 9600, hit return, color graphics, yes, and 40 column mode. And there we go, just asking for login information. New credits. Checking for new news. Check my mailbox. Okay. Open the mail now. No, that's not doing it. Check on the wall. Sure. Sometimes when I look at things far away, I hear the bionic noise. Hmm, interesting. Okay, want to paint a message? Hmm, nah, that's okay. Nah. I put a dollar in the change machine and nothing changed. <laughs> Okay, messages and email. Messages. 
let's look at the messages. Okay, read messages. Entering gen general hangout message board. There are 500 new messages. Read all? Mm, no, that's okay. Let's go with A. And all the kid. Okay, let's read that one. Great find. Okay, so we're going to log off the bulletin board here. Yes. Okay, and we'll quit out of here. Come back to the main menu. Log off. There we go. Yes. Okay. Um, we'll skip entering a minute. Okay, okay, log off. Have fun at Convex. Bye for now.